Hello everyone, my name is Wilson and I want to welcome you to this week review. Today we are going to be talking about security. We are going to be looking at Glasswire, a firewall software that helps you keep an eye on your privacy, security, bandwidth and data consumption. This review is going to be divided in two parts. Part 1 will be about the general information about Glasswire and part 2 where I will dive a little bit more in bandwidth consumption control. So if you are new to this channel, subscribe, hit the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a video. Glasswire is a tool that gives you information about your data usage, your network connection and your firewall. In summary, it gives you information about what is happening on your PC and on your network. I've used free version for some time but I've switched it to the paid one due to the feature that it has and I've enjoyed it since then. You will find Glasswire only for PC and Android at the moment but hope that in the future they develop for other platforms. You can download Glasswire for free and try it before you make a purchase. Glasswire comes in three plans, Basic, Pro and Elite. The link to Glasswire will be in the description of this video as well as a coupon code to get a discount on your purchase. Now let's look to the software itself. I have it running on my PC for two years now. Glasswire is divided in sections. You have Graph, Usage, Things, Firewall and Alerts. I call this section but they call it Tab, so it's up to you how you want to call it. This is the Graph section. It shows you all the network activity from your device, both upstream and downstream. It is sorted by apps and traffic. For the skin that I'm using, yellow represents the downstream and pink the upstream. You can change the skin by clicking on glass wire, skins and select the one you like. The graph scrolls horizontal in real time and it is scalable depending on your average data rate. You can zoom in or out on the timeline, pause and inspect the specific peaks and view history that goes a long time. The history depends on your plan. For example, if you are on basic, you can go as far as 6 months, but if you are using the pro plan, you can go up to 1 year, but if you are using elite, the history is unlimited. In usage, it shows you total cumulative data usage, whether it is outgoing or incoming and it is sorted by apps, host location and traffic type. It basically shows you the same information as the graph but focused on more detailed information. This is very good to compare with information from your internet service provider, ISP. In this section, you can see if there are applications running on the background or eating a lot of your bandwidth and from there decide to block or not its access. Glasswire only monitors the data usage from the machine where it is installed and not from your entire home network. So if you only use one machine and you receive a different information from your ISP that is more than you expected, you probably have something else on your network eating your bandwidth. This is probably a good way to capture attention and see what is happening on your network. So now that we're talking about network, let's go to the network section now called Things. I don't know why they have changed the name but this is the new name, Things. You can see all the locally connected device on your network that your computer can see. You have here the ability to sort it by DNS and IP. Using DNS will allow you to see the name of your device, if available, but sometimes the device appears here as unknown, but if you know what it is, you can label it. When using Glasswire, it will pop up alerts anytime an application access the information for the first time or an information about a specific application has changed and you can here sort it by date, app and type. You can go way back on time if you're trying to find any specific information. If you go to Glasswire, Settings, Security, you have the ability to set new alerts such as internet access to notify you when your internet is connected or disconnected, 
and suspicious host monitor to notify you when an application has initiated a connection to a suspicious host. Once you got all this information, you can control it on the firewall section. In this section, you will see all the application and services accessing your network, the hosts they are connected and the upstream and downstream data rates. You can turn the firewall on and off completely. You also have three more options available, click to block, ask to connect and block all. When selecting click to block, you can click individual application or service to block it from accessing your network. When ask to connect is selected, every time an application wants to connect to the network, it will ask you first and a pop-up will appear to you asking for permission and you can decide to allow or block it. When block all is selected, all the connection will be blocked. You can also create a profile that you can switch depending on the network you are connected. For example, you can have a profile you use when you're connected to a public network and when you are connected to your home network. I will go in more detail about it on part 2 of this video. I will show you how to create profiles and how to use all the options available here in the firewall section. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so you get a notification when I upload the video. The one thing I don't like here is the ability to search for an application or service. You don't have the ability to write the name of the app or service. You have to scroll all the way down if you're trying to find a specific one. The other thing I don't like here is that every time you block an application, it takes you up to the position that this app will take on the list of blocked apps, making you to scroll down to block another app. Remember guys, this is not an antivirus, even though it has some features to detect suspicious behaviors, you may need to install an antivirus. Download the free version and try it before you make a purchase. Link to Glasswire will be in the description of this video as well as coupon code. Well guys, that's all for this video. If you like my review of Glasswire, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, it will mean a lot to me and will help the channel to grow and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.